Since August is National Psoriasis Month, it's a good time to talk about new treatments being developed to treat this disease. There is growing awareness of psoriasis, an autoimmune disease that causes raised, red, scaly patches to appear on the skin. It affects about 3% of the general population and can be mild, moderate, or severe. Severe psoriasis has a major effect on the physical and emotional well-being of the patients. In moderate to severe cases, systemic biologic drugs delivered via IV have dominated the market. According to the National Psoriasis Foundation, common side effects of biologics include respiratory infections, flu-like symptoms, and injection site reactions. Rare side effects include serious nervous system disorders such as MS, seizures, or inflammation of the nerves of the eyes, blood disorders, and certain types of cancer. A significant need remains for novel oral and safe drugs for psoriasis patients who do not respond to existing therapies or for whom these therapies are unsuitable. The psoriasis therapeutic market was worth $3.6 billion in 2010 and is forecast to grow to $6.7 billion by 2018, according to global data. Today we're joined by Dr. Panina Fishman, CEO of Canfite Biopharma. Canfite is developing a drug to treat psoriasis. So let's go to Dr. Fishman to learn more about it. Psoriasis is a systemic disease. It is manifested in the skin of the patients, but in order to treat the disease, you need to use a systemic drug which will reach the immunological system and will resolve the problem uh, in systemically and not only on the skin. This is the reason that in order to win the disease, you need to use a drug which will be able to target your immunocytes and to be like a cure for your disease. Uh, biological drugs are very efficacious. At the same time, uh, the way of administration and the side effects which are generated upon taking this drug make them quite challenging. CANFI develops currently CF101 as an oral drug. The patient will be able to take it at home morning and evening. We have dosed till today more than 1,000 patients and the drug happened to be very safe and efficacious in the frame of our phase two clinical studies in the interim analysis of the phase two, three study that we have concluded recently. Our small molecule drug will get through the intestine to the blood and will distribute all over the body. It will bind to both the immunocytes and the skin cells and will induce cell death of the inflammatory cells. Uh, the drug is very safe, so it can be taken chronically for a very long period of time. And by doing that, it will evoke a robust anti-inflammatory effect and can act as an efficacious drug for psoriasis. Uh, our drug uh, is an oral drug taken by the patients twice daily at home. It has an excellent safety profile and it targets specifically and selectively only the pathological cells in the patient's body. It means that when the patients will take it chronically for a very long period of time, they will be able to enjoy the efficacy of the drug and at the same time the safety and uh, the fact that the drug does not induce any adverse events. Till today, we have dosed more than 1,200 patients with CF101 with, for long periods of time, and the drug happened to be very well tolerated and has an excellent safety profile.
Uh, we envision that we will need to conduct additional phase three study after concluding uh, the current phase two three study. So it's around three years from now that we will be able to launch the drug to the market. If you want to learn more about CanFight Biopharma, you can visit the company's website at canfight.com. Their ticker is C-A-N-F, and they're listed on the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Anna Maria Chen, and you're watching Corporate Profile.